Good day viewers and welcome to today's edition of the Spot Rep Show. I'm your host Limba Mopetami bringing you the latest in sports news. With that, let's kickstart this show with the hit list. The MTC Hopsol Youth Soccer Under-19 League is heading for an exciting climax after matches played over the weekend. With only a month left before the top eight final knockout stages, the league is still very evenly balanced, with top seven teams only prepared or rather separated by five points. Joining Galaxy Football Club midfielder Marshall Papama is ready to enjoy a full season in Botswana despite the fact that there could be potential buyers in the market. Fresh from the Kosafa final, Papama still has one more season on his contract after joining the club in January. Namibian swimmers Alexander Skinner and Ronan Vatenov have set their sights on the Swimming Olympic qualifying times when they compete in the upcoming 2022 Birmingham Commonwealth Games. Skinner and Vatanar are the sole athletes representing Namibia in swimming at the competition set to start on the 28th of July. Skinner, who is based in the United States of America, where his studies will compete in the 100 meters freestyle and 50 meters fly, while Vatanar, who is based in Thailand on a Namibia National Olympic Committee Solidarity Scholarship, will compete in the 50 meters and 100 meters breaststroke. Now moving onwards with the show, five Namibian ring officials left the country on Monday to attend the WBC ABU Ring Officials Seminar ABU Convention in Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe. It is very important for ring officials to attend conventions organized by world, body, world boxing bodies. The convention started on the 25th of, uh, of, of July that of course is Monday and will end on the 31st of July. Namibian ring officials who are attending the convention are Philemon Muya, Timo Heikonda, Angel Simasiku, Moses Suwana and Lucas Simon. Well of course with that we conclude the hit list of today's show. Up next is the legends segment or rather the golden oldies segment where we look at a legend that is none other than Mohammed Onsep. Now with that quickly let's go for a break and then once we come back we head into the le legend golden oldies segment of today. Now, speaking about the golden oldies, looking at the legends of Namibia, we have Mohamed Onzeb. Now, Onzeb played back in the day for the lives of Kaiser Chiefs. He played for Sandos, Chief Sandos, that of course is a local club in uh, Chumep. And uh, he also played for the likes of uh, Leon in Oslo. Now, of course, now without wasting any time, let's cross over to that interview with Mohamed Onzeb. Sport Rep is here joined, that is by a football legend. I think many of, many of you would know him. That is by the name of Slice, Mohamed Osep, a legend that played the game at the highest of levels. That is here in Africa, Namibia. Former Brave Warriors, Kaiser Chiefs, you can name them all. Um, Slice, welcome to the Sport Rep show. Thanks, boss. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, basically, I know many would know a bit of your history, but I want to hear it from your, from your mouth how you started all and where you started. I'm sure it's here in the Copper Town. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, unfortunately, we are not at the grounds where I started. Mm -hmm. uh, I could have, like, take you there. Uh, but this is part 
of where I started, mm -hmm. one of the towns where I was playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, growing up as a boy, were you interested in football from the start? Uncles were playing football. Mm -hmm. My mom was a, a netball tennis player. Mm -hmm. So, I was born in sports. You were born in yeah. sports. Okay, um, tell me about your journey, um, the teams you played for actually before because most of the people probably just came to see you in the Brave Warrior squad and Kaiser Chiefs mm. but where did you start? I, like, like we mentioned, uh, I started around here mm -hmm. and I started with uh, Chief Sandos. Mm -hmm. After Chief Sandos, like the first time I joined Chief Sandos, I was still a young boy. Mm -hmm. But um, I think few months after that, I I went to Paravas uh, Secondary School, mm -hmm. and I was picked up. Mm -hmm. Because uh, Chief Sanos was playing, I think, uh, Roba Chandis. Mm. Roba Chandis is a team from uh, Borikas. They went to play uh, against Roba Chandis. Mm. I went there. So, I was at Brambles. Brambles is like uh, a few kilometers out, uh, outside uh, Borikas. Mm. I think 10, 15 kilometers outside Borikas. Mm -hmm. And they went to pick me up there. Mm. My first game for Chiefs and those, mm. I was on the bench. Oh, the, yeah, I never played for Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> but but, yeah, but I, as a, already as a defender. No, no, no. Like mm. that time, I was a I was a winger. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. I was a winger. Mm. <laughs> so they picked me up at school. Mm -hmm. We went there. Mm. Um, I never even played for Chiefs and those like mm. that time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, they, they took me, mm. because like the weekend, mm. they played like two games in a weekend. Mm. One game in uh, Borijas, mm. the other one in uh, Ocho, mm -hmm. against, uh, what was the team? Robert, uh, no, 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 uh, Golden Beast. Golden Beast. Golden Beast, yeah. Uh -huh. So they took me there. Uh -huh. Okay, the Korega, Korega's one. Uh -huh. I spent a whole 90 minutes on the bench. Without playing at all? Without playing. Uh -huh. um, the one in Ocho against uh, Golden Beast. Uh, I think I played last 15 minutes. Uh -huh. Last 15 minutes. Ah. So that, that was the start. Ah. And I also played for um, African Lions. Okay. From Otorango. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, now going into the Brave Warriors, yeah. um, how did you enter into the Brave Warriors? I mean, like, right. what was the footsteps? Uh, who selected you or who saw you? I think um, it was Chief Sando started like opening up the uh, the way for me because of Chief Sanders because of Chief Sanders I I end up with the under 23s mm -hmm. I, I I never ended up or I never went from. Chiefs and us to the Brave Forest. Brave Forest. So it was the under 23? Under 23, That yeah. time, the one of Peter Obeyan, or which one yeah. was that one? Peter, okay. Peter, Peter, and, uh, Peter Obeyan and uh, the rest of them. So that could be the 93s, the 94s? It was nine. Uh, it was a year that Zambian team... Mm. Or oh, the, the Zambian plane crashed? Yeah. Okay. Because we, we were supposed to play... Um, the under 23 Kosava Cup mm -hmm. and they cancelled that uh, tournament mm -hmm. because of the crash. Okay. Yeah. Right. So it was it was um, 
It was 1993. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, no, if I mean the years is now, it's a long years. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, it's been a while, yeah. Mm. So, we were on the way. Mm. We were already selected. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm. We were already selected, mm. and then we went there. Uh -huh. But then, because of that crash, the, it was a Kosava yeah, under yeah. 20. Under 20. Yeah. yeah. So because of that crash, mm. the tournament was cancelled. Was cancelled. Yeah. Okay. So that was my first. Mm. So that was your first. But then you actually managed to cement your place as the, the years gone went by. You were um, a regular for the Brave Warriors, eventually attracting the likes of Kaiser Chiefs, where you also spent your most of your career as a player. Tell me a bit about your years in Kaiser Chiefs. <laughs> How they even approached you? Um, Kaiser Chiefs. I think I was I was already part of like you know the Braves mm -hmm. because I think I played in few of the uh, the Kosava Cups, uh, mm -hmm. Kosava games. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> From what I understand, uh -huh. uh, Screamer Chabalala, uh -huh. he was, he was, he was the, I don't know whether he was a scout or what, uh -huh. but he came to, 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 to uh, I don't know, scout, uh -huh. whether it's scout or whether he came to talk to uh, Robert. Uh -huh. Or representatives of Robert. Mm -hmm. Which Robert is this? No sir. No sir. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because what I heard was like uh -huh. he came to uh -huh. talk to him uh -huh. about the move uh -huh. that to, is to, 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 to Chiefs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, I think it was a Kos uh, Kosava game. Mm -hmm. We talk. Um, we talked before the game mm. with Screamer. Mm. Uh, Robert mentioned my name mm. and then he talked to me. But it was just like, it's okay, yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah, greeting yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then um, after the game, mm. he said, like, okay, um, can he invite me mm. to uh, South Africa? For trials or Yeah. yeah. Mm. But, you know, like, you know, it's the first time, it's, uh, you understand? Yeah. Not going, you know, like South Africa, you know. Yeah, yeah. People talk about South Africa, <laughs> crying and here. stuff, yeah, yeah. and your mom doesn't, um, doesn't, you understand, like. Yeah, she's not feeling it. She doesn't, saying, like, yeah, feel she's that, saying, like, yeah, she doesn't want that, you to go yeah, there. That country is a very yeah. dangerous country. You understand? Oh, yeah. Because of crime, mm -hmm. but okay, it, it it took me like I think three weeks mm. for me to say like okay fine I can go and try mm. because I came back mm -hmm. I talked to my mom yeah. I said like let's take a chance mm. I talked to uh, I think one of the person uh, people that made me. Made me took that decision to go take a chance uh, was uh, Max Johnson. Yes, he um, said like, okay, let, just go, take a, take a chance. So I went there. And then you took the chance. I went there uh, a week. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to. They told me like, okay, let me take a chance for. We're gonna give you a chance to trial mm. for three weeks mm -hmm. but I think three days they said they want you they said like no <laughs> <laughs> we want this one I mean one. this was an opportunity yeah. for you so you were actually impressing in this um, this two weeks or three weeks no like three days three days yeah <laughs> I impressed yeah but one good thing was like mm. Robert was there. Oh, so yeah. you were he was already there before yeah. I came. Ah. 
and I think his presence also make my stay very very easy comfortable so, yeah yeah okay let's go on uh, because uh, we press for time you played for Chiefs um, I remember there was an opportunity for you to go international to that was Arsenal but um, can you tell us a bit about that move and what happened <laughs> no honestly I don't I don't know about it oh so it yeah, was just I, rumors because it was one of the rumors we had back in the day yeah. that there was um, no, apparently I, interest from Arsenal. I only heard about that mm. from my agent. Okay. Yeah. So it All was, my yeah. representatives, mm -hmm. they they said like Arsenal is interested, mm. and then they started uh, negotiations. Mm. But then they say like your country's rankings, rankings are, are not, yeah. yeah. Okay, that was something of that yeah. nature. Um, before we finish, um, you played. Um, what is maybe one of the two mem one memorable game from your game from your time in Chiefs and for your, from your time in the Brave Warriors that you can remember that you played and say this was an A star performance from me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with the Brave Warriors. Brave Warriors mm. yes! qualifying for. For Nations Cup. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I'm, I'm very proud mm -hmm. to be one of the players that qualified for the Nations the nation Cup. For That's the Burkina first, Faso. Yeah, mm -hmm. Burkina Faso, mm -hmm. 90, uh, 98. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, you know, that, that was your proudest moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for Chiefs? For, the, for Chiefs? Mm -hmm. Winning uh, <laughs> Rodman's Cup. Wow, that was yeah. winning the Rodman's Cup. Yeah. Okay. Um, any word for, for for the youth of today, for the players? If you feel like you want to be a future Future soccer player. player, future. You wanna represent your country. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is like put everything in. Um, for the youth, um, respect, dedication, uh, lesson to your coaches, hard work, don't, don't listen to whatever people, people are going to talk. That was the golden oldest segment of the show with none other than Mahomet Angusep, which is of course a legend, a football legend in Namibia. Now, with that, we cross over to the spotlight segment of today's show. But quickly, before we delve into that, we go for a break and then we will then cross over to the spotlight segment. So stay tuned. Namibia's national chess team will leave for Chennai, India tomorrow to compete at the 44th Fiat Chess Olympiad which takes place from the 28th to the 10th of August. More than 2,000 chess players from about 180 countries will compete in the biennial tournament which is one of the highlights on the World Chess Federation's calendar. Now of course uh, we have interviews lined up with chess players Dante Birkers, 
patients chooses and the chef the mission which is uh, Velta Janssen so please stay tuned for this. Hi my name is Dante Bierkes I'm a member of the Nubian chess team that's going to the 44th uh, World Chess Olympiad in Chennai India. Um, I am the country's first and only international chess master. I started playing chess when I was uh, seven and I started playing tournaments when I was nine and I've just been playing since then. Uh, I'm 19 now and I'm looking forward to this event. It's, uh, it's always fun playing the chess Olympiad. This will be my third one. And yeah, I just hope to, to, to do well and to do the country proud. Hi, good morning. I'm Valda Janssen. I'm the head of delegation of um, the Namibia team going to Chennai. Um, we are very excited. The team has been playing, um, training hard. They've been doing online coaching with their coaches. Um, they've been doing over the board playing. So they've really been playing and um, working hard to prepare for this tournament. So we, our expectations are that the team will do well. They will do their best. Um, and the aim of the team is to basically end in the top 100 of the tournament out of uh, almost 200 countries that will be participating there. Hi, I'm Patience Tussis. I am 21 years old. I started playing chess when I was seven. It was offered to all the green ones, so I started there. But I stopped a bit, and when I was almost in high school, I started playing again. This will be my second Olympiad, and I'm really excited to go play. It's really an honor to be part of the national team because you get to represent Namibia. So um, you play against the best of the other countries as well. So it's great exposure. And it's, it's always fun when you meet new people that also do what you do for fun, which is now chess. So yes, we're going to go to India and it's just luck. Well, of course, good luck to the team as they take on other countries. Now, up next is the globe trotting segment of today's show, which focuses on international sports news with Ari Hohad. So please enjoy this. Good day everyone, time for international sports news, starting off with cycling news and it was the Tour de France for men that just finished over the weekend. Now it's the turn of the women, it's the women's Tour de France, the Tour de France de Femme and uh, it is stage two that was completed with Mariana Foss of the Netherlands that won stage two in a sprint to the end. Uh, quite a comfortable win in the end in the sprint, uh, she came in just before Silvia Pasico of Italy in second place. In the third position it was Katrina Nevedoma um, in third, um, it is uh, one in a time of three hours 14 minutes and two seconds by Mariana Foss. Her combined time now for the stage one and two is a five hours seven minutes and 46 seconds. That makes her the yellow jersey leader. Um, and in second place, 10 seconds behind her is um, uh, Silvia Persico of Italy. And in third position is Katrina Navidoma. In uh, that's 12 seconds behind uh, the leader Mariana Foss. The second stage done. Uh, the third stage will be 134 kilometers. It is described as a stage that uh, do not have many hills, so it is quite a flat stage. With the sprinters, sprinters probably coming again to the fore. It will be from Reims to Epernay, that is stage three of uh, the Tour de France Femme. And now continuing with cricket news, it is South African women's team that played in England and it was the conclusion of the T20 series, uh, the third game, and it was England that won the series 3-0. The last game, the third game, uh, it was England that batted first. They made 176 for the loss of six wickets with the Ecclestone with the 33 runs from just 12 balls. Malaba for South Africa, three wickets for 22 runs in four overs. South Africa didn't get close to that. Uh, they lost by 38 runs. Uh, they achieved 100 and 38 for the loss of six wickets. The best uh, runs there was Brits that scored 59 of 57 balls um, and uh, the series win then for England 3-0. Next uh, on cricket in England is the men of South Africa that continue their tour um, in England. Uh, they um, squared the, t the 50 over internationals by one game each. The third game rained out. Now it's three t 20 games that will start on Wednesday. 
Now continuing international sports news with soccer news. There's still transfer news um, in the soccer world. It is Manchester United sport proper, or he was with Manchester United for a few seasons. His contract ended and he is now a player for Juventus. He did a medical at Juventus and unfortunately he's got a knee injury uh, that was picked up in the medical and he needs to see an orthopedic specialist. Also transfer news is that West Ham agreed personal terms and that is for the Italian striker. His name is Gianluca Scamaca and uh, he will join uh, the team of West Ham. And uh, then the defender Ben Davies, he is from Tottenham Hotspur. He agreed to stay with Tottenham Hotspur until uh, the 2025 season. Then also some soccer news for Saturday. It is uh, the season that starts and that will be with the Community Shield game that will be played. That is uh, Liverpool that will play Manchester City this coming Saturday. Uh, that's normally the league winners against the FA Cup winners. And that game will be played at the King Power Stadium in Leicester. Closing off with Formula One racing news, uh, this coming Sunday it is again Grand Prix, it is the Hungarian Grand Prix that will be in Budapest, the news from Ferrari is that they said that it was definitely not an um, accelerator that got stuck when uh, Charles Leclerc crashed out of uh, the French Grand Prix, it was a racing error and uh, also Charles Leclerc admitted that it was a racing error. So um, it is uh, then on Sunday, uh, the next one, Hungarian Grand Prix, at the moment Max Verstappen, 233 points, he leads by 60 three points over Charles Leclerc, with Mercedes also being very competitive in France, being second and third in France. Lewis Hamilton at the moment sixth position with 127 points. So that's the international sports news for now. Hope you have a great sport day and we'll talk again tomorrow. Goodbye. Thank you so much, Ari. Now, of course, that is all from us here from the Sport Rep uh, show. Please do catch us again tomorrow as we bring you a fresh edition of the show.